Previously on X-Men. What's up, everybody? It's your boy C. Sams, and this is that review for Dark Phoenix. So anyway, Dark Phoenix came out today, and um, save your money. Listen, uh, this is just my reaction. This is not a spoiler-heavy review, but you can tell by the way that I'm uh, expressing myself right now that um, I wasn't impressed. In fact, I didn't like it. In fact, probably one of the worst X-Men movies I've ever seen in my life. So let me start off by saying this. X3, I apologize. I know you were just trying to be a good movie. I know you was trying to be a Dark Phoenix movie, but you failed at it. And you were comically bad, but at least we all knew that you were comically bad. At least we all knew that you were going to be a popcorn movie and that you had no substance whatsoever. You were going to take liberties that you, you know, thought that would be a good idea. And, you know, that was your thing. And even though you came out 15 years ago or so, okay, cool. You would think that at that point, Marvel Fox would have made some adjustments and learned from their mistakes and listened to the fans and say, you know what, we've been given 20 years of this product, of this property, let's do something nice, let's do something good, let's get a good send off farewell. But no, we got none of that. This movie right here was completely a mess. Now, when I think of this movie, I think of Batman and Robin by Joel Schumacher, where everybody didn't know what was happening, why they were even filming, and why the film was even being made. It seems as though that that was the same case with this movie. There was no reason to make this movie. At the end of Apocalypse, Apocalypse was done. And yeah, we saw this power that was within Jean, but in the movie, they're trying to say that she gets this flaming power from the solar flare alien thing. and. It's weird. It's like they forgot everything that happened in that movie and try to put it as this movie. I don't know. Are you going to see some Share Our Empire stuff? Spoiler alert. No, you're not. Are you going to see anything that even resembles the storyline of the Dark Phoenix? Spoiler alert. No, you're not. The two characters that you will not see in this movie is Wolverine and unfortunately you won't see Stan Lee. And this is something that breaks my heart because Stan Lee was alive when this movie was being filmed. At least you guys could have put him in the movie at some point. But it's okay. You didn't do it. And I'm almost assuming that he said he didn't want to be a part of that mess anyway. Uh, again, I don't want to spoil this movie for you guys. I hope you guys go out there and watch it. Let's be honest. This was a really bad movie. There was no reason for them to make this movie. They know they didn't make, need to make this movie. But they still made this movie. And I don't know why they made this movie. Um, I don't want to rate this movie. Well, you know what? I'm going to grade this movie. I gave this movie a 3 out of 10. And the reason why I gave it a 3 out of 10 because of three things. Number one, the Marvel logo. I love the Marvel logo. Number two, Nightcrawler. Nightcrawler is probably one of the best characters that needs to be on screen all the time. And Quicksilver is another character that needs to be on screen all the time. But if you're looking for fun in this movie, you're not going to get it. If you're looking for a story, you're not going to get it. If you're looking for anything that resembles the comic books, you're not going to get it. Are you going to get the X-Men that you remember from the cartoons? You're definitely not going to get it. I don't know why they made this movie. There was no reason to make this movie. If you knew your property was going over to Marvel Studio, <laughs> if you knew it was going over to Marvel Studio, then you probably should have just let it go to Marvel Studio. You know, don't try to rush out crap so that we can watch crap to get some more money because you're not going to be making any more money when it comes over Marvel Studio. Ah, oh, man, this is bad. This is really, really bad. Um, Marvel Studios, please get your, your toys back. Make the movie better. Make X-Men great again, please, because Lord knows that Fox doesn't know how to do what you guys have sh clearly shown you know how to do. Um, once again, this movie was crap, trash. Uh, I didn't like this movie at all. Um, man, it... Uh, it, it's my job to to tell you guys to give you my opinion and make you guys you know kind of choose what you want to do. Do you want to 
go and see this movie? Do you want to wait for it to come out on FX? It's probably going to be on FX next week because I don't see this movie going anywhere in the box office. I don't even see this movie breaking records. And if it does break records, I will be very, very sad if that's the case. Um, are we going to get New Mutants? God, I hope not. <laughs> I hope we don't get New Mutants. Um, remember all that stuff from Essex Corp at the end of Apocalypse and everything like that? Remember that whole thing? And we thought we were going to get Mr. Sinister and all that stuff? Yeah, forget all that stuff. Remember those end credit scenes that we love to wait around for? Yeah, don't even waste your time with that. Um, yeah, there's not much to really say for this movie. Um, I'm bashing this movie because it deserves to be bashed. Um, Man, I can't wait to really get into this uh, movie when we do our review this weekend. So I'm not going to say no more for it. Uh, 3 out of 10. Uh, Dark Phoenix was uh, complete trash. I don't know why they even made this movie. Um, yeah, I, I, I think that sums it up quite well. Once again, this is your boy Sam's. Click the notification button so you can know we drop new stuff. Like, share, subscribe. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, trust me, we, we, we have other things that are not this hard. We have other things that are not this harmful. Okay? Um, gosh, what a bad movie. Sam's out.